Good afternoon. The harvest can continue for the next week. Temperatures, although dropping at first, will rise again and rain is not really on the horizon. This is how it looks. A northerly breeze will turn to the east slowly and as it does so, so we'll start to drag in more of that hot air from the continent, but this time not very humid air, I don't think. So the temperatures fall at first and then they rise later in the week. And as I say dry except for today and that's in the extreme south where in fact despite the hose pipe band there's been some rain. It's quite ironic really. Started off in Cornwall, it's now run along uh, through Devon, Dorset, Hampshire and as far as east and west Sussex. But it's largely dying out now and I think today we'll see the end of it probably for the rest of the week. As you see there's no rain anywhere else on the chart. There is some cloud, much of it is low and taking a while to burn off running down through Yorkshire now and uh, into Lincolnshire and the eastern Midlands and across the northern part of Scotland. So today's greyness will gradually die back in most places, but maybe not everywhere. The thunderstorms will die away, and again, temperatures for some places will be as hot as, well, as high as 26 or 27 degrees. But again, the coast will be cooler, and the wind is still in the north. It's that wind that strengthens overnight, particularly in the southeast quarter of Britain, and it's still coming from a fairly cool direction, so quite a contrast in the weather for that part of the country for the start of Monday. Grey, possibly even drizzly, and certainly quite windy in complete contrast with the rest of the country. But that will largely die away, so the sun will try and break through, but it won't be a particularly warm day, though it will be largely dry. Temperatures now roughly average a little bit higher in the west. Moving on to Tuesday, from these charts onwards, that's the cold front that brought the drizzle, if you like. Tuesday and onwards, the orientation of the high changes, and that's why we start to draw in the hot air from the continent. Now, as we do that, 